Liverpool have a marvellous record at Sunderland. No league defeat on Wearside since 1958. But Sunderland are unbeaten at the Stadium of Light this season and were soon applying the pressure. Niall Quinn being denied by Rigobert Song's goal line clearance. Elsewhere in the first half, Ray and McCann were booked. They'll miss the home clash with Chelsea on December the 4th. In the second half, Summerby's long cross was almost converted by Kevin Phillips. And he was having one of those days. Soon afterwards, Quinn caused problems at the back for Liverpool and set up Eric Roy. Then came Liverpool's first real chance. A straightforward long ball meant it was Michael Owen against Jody Craddock. Owen got to it first, stayed on his feet brilliantly under pressure before nicking it over Thomas Sorensen for the first goal. Sunderland came charging back though and once again it was Niall Quinn in the thick of it. He connected with Darren Williams' cross, but it was just too high. A few minutes later, Quinn was on the far post in space. His cross was met by Phillips, but Vestervelt was there to palm it over. Liverpool could have gone further ahead, meanwhile, when Michael Owen had an easier chance than the one he'd scored from. That was five minutes from the end. Seconds later, Liverpool created another opening. Now, you don't see many reverse nutmegs in England, but here's David Thompson. Brilliant. He followed that with a shimmy. And his deflected cross came to the right foot, unusually, of Patrick Berger. There was still time, though, for a final Sunderland effort. But when Rigobert Song cleared off the line again, this time from Michael Reddy, Sunderland knew their 364-day unbeaten home record had gone.